journalist who champions Native American rights says she was racially profiled when a liquor store refused to sell her wine. She also claimed police brutality when deputies showed up to the scene because she was causing a scene. News 13's Madeline Schmidt shows you the video of the arrest, which does contain some strong language. As any journalist like Jenny Monet knows, there's two sides to every story. Today, she told us her side, while deputy lapel video tells us another. Jenny Monet was poised as she spoke at the Institute of American Indian Arts in Santa Fe this morning. And that's journalism today. A totally different look from last Friday. You racist mother you white supremacist. When she was arrested for DWI at a Santa Fe liquor store on Old Pecos Trail after the store refused to sell her wine, claiming she appeared drunk. Sheriff's Department records show that the surveillance cameras here at the liquor store captured her rolling up to the store, getting out of the driver's seat of the car, and then going inside. And once she was in there, surveillance cameras captured her making obscene gestures towards the staff. We obtained that footage showing exactly what was described. Immediately after the confrontation, both she and the staff called for deputies. Okay. Have you been drinking at all tonight? No. Okay. How come I can smell a really strong odor of alcohol? I don't know. I've not been drinking. She claimed she was racially profiled. How are they racially profiling you is what I'm trying to get at. Because I'm a brown woman. Do you not okay. see that? Monet refused field sobriety tests and grew angry. Listen, I'm not walking stop. any line for you. Okay. You hear me? Listen. I am not walking any line for you. Then she was arrested. Police brutality! Police brutality! You fat finger. Today at the event, we asked Monet what happened. I am one of a majority of people who are uh, victimized by this kind of racial profiling that exists on a daily basis. Monet says she's hired attorneys. Neither was I drinking or driving at the time, and we're confident that the evidence that stands in my favor will um, vindicate me. And she threatened to sue us over this story. I'm an award-winning journalist. You can look me up. Jenny Monet, go ahead. The fact that I'm an award-winning journalist and that I said that to these officers and that they didn't even run an ID check on me or check my name or even validate the fact that I had called them for help. Monet was charged with aggravated DWI because she refused to do a breathalyzer test. She was also charged with resisting arrest. Madeline Schmidt, KRQE News 13. We do want to tell you that Jenny Monet did work for News 13 as a reporter about 20 years ago. She has not been affiliated with KRQE since then.